too much for sure So cold, but we're always coming back for more Egos in this wicked game, it's all for sure Oh, I've got you Welcome, my name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So I'm here with Zach. Say hi, honey. Oh, hey. You guys probably already saw in the intro of this vlog, we've been just kind of running errands today, been on the go. If you guys are new to my channel, I'll bring you up to speed. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. And if you don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the program is you're gonna be eating five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day that are spaced out all by two to three hour increments. And that's how we achieve optimal weight in our our optimal weight loss phase and right now if you guys are also new to my channel you may not know that Zach and I are in the middle of prepping for a really big move and if you guys didn't see that big move video I'll link it up above right here so you guys can check it out but we are on the go pretty much all the time we are running errands we are getting rid of everything in our house right now we are like prepping for a big big adventure and it's just like lots of moving parts so that being said this morning I'm just bringing you guys along for my day as I prep for this big journey there's lots of things going on and in the middle of that I'm also bringing you along for what I eat in a day on my Optavia 5-in-1 program just because I know a lot of you guys are here just checking out the program or are currently on program and wanting to run with somebody and I'm your girl I'll run with you any day of the week you just let me know I'm always here I'm trying to document my journey as well and in the midst of all of that I like to just share what I eat in a day on my vlogs just so that's a part of my journey and then I'm also bringing you guys along as we prep for this big trip and then also as we go on this big trip I'll be bringing the camera along as well vlogging the whole time so welcome to another episode of my Shalise Health Journey series <laughs> So for today, I have already had my coffee and my first fueling. Uh, my coffee, we just picked up at Dutch Bros. Honestly, Dutch Bros has become my most recent obsession. I go through phases of Dutch Bros, and honestly, it's just so, so good. I love just getting cream and sugar-free caramel, and that's pretty much what I make at home, but there's just something about the way it tastes at Dutch Bros. Super, super yummy. So we went and grabbed coffee this morning. I had my first fueling, the cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake. Oh my God, if you guys haven't tried that fueling, it's like basically the pancake but like 10 times better like super super good so already had my first fueling we headed to Subaru today because we wanted to basically do a tune-up on our car if we're gonna be traveling the country in our car for the next like year we kind of need a good vehicle so we've been doing a lot of changes with our car recently and we wanted to make sure that it was in tip-top shape we went and got a I, I think what did we get we did an oil change tire rotation change the air filters change the air filters which I mean I feel like they've asked me to do that every time and I've just never done it and then this time we were like yeah we should probably do that so change the air filters and then I think they looked at the brakes and all that kind of stuff but we're just trying to make sure that that is good to go like no problems there we're taken care of and we're just excited for this trip so 
we did that. We are gonna be probably running a couple more errands today. Um, also, another fun thing that's happening today is I'm getting my new iPhone today. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much I have been wanting an iPhone 12 since they came out, and there have just been so many like conflicts with the way that my plan worked out, and if I was eligible for an upgrade, and all these kinds of things, and thank God it worked out just in time for me to be able to get it right before we leave town, so it's actually shipping to our house today, which is gonna be fun. Also, I have to let you guys know, so Zach and I are experiencing a new phase, even though we're just like so excited for this big move. You guys probably know if you've been watching my channel for a while that like we have major puppy fever and today it has been so so strong. So basically yesterday Zach and I were having kind of an off day. There was like some stuff going on that just was rising up from our past and we were trying to figure out how we were going to handle it and we were like what are we going to do to like get in a better mood and the only thing we could really think of to do in the midst of this chaos was we just want to go see puppies. So yesterday Zach and I went to a pet store and just hung out with puppies for like maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, I don't know, and we want a puppy like really bad. <laughs> we like almost walked out with one. You want to tell them about the one that we picked out? Well, there's a couple of them. Well, which one do you want? I want the boxer and I want to name him Bruce. <laughs> What's the name of Bruce? Oh my God. Um, so I think Zach, you just want one that you can like wrestle with, which I don't have a problem with. I feel like literally if we have a big boxer in a few years that's named Bruce, that's totally your dog. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be so great. And then I'll just get like a fluffy like baby one for me that just hangs out with me all day on my lap. <laughs> it was so fun you guys I can't even tell you like there was so much crap going on in our life yesterday and we were just like in such a weird headspace and we were like what can we do and we went and saw puppies and if anybody's looking for like a little self-care or a little pick-me-up like literally every care in the world just goes away because you go and see puppies and all they want to do is love you like they just want to love you like they don't care what's going on in your life it's just like oh man it was too stinking cute and we literally almost walked out with that boxer like it was so stinking cute and we were like what the heck are we gonna do with a boxer like we have we're going on a trip across the country we don't have enough room in the car he's not potty trained like oh god we did we very much considered it though like we literally almost walked out with a boxer puppy yesterday and anyways we are having major puppy fever today and so every single dog like there were even a couple dogs at subaru and we were like oh my god like you know if there's like a word for clucky but like for dogs that's like pretty much what we are right now like if you were like having baby fever this is puppy fever this is like every single puppy I see I'm like I want it I want it so bad so anyway that's where we're at um, also to be honest with you I don't know if I really plan on putting on makeup today because I'm actually a little allergic to dogs and I know that seems weird even if I'm allergic I'm gonna figure it out and we're getting a dog I don't care what happens but because we were there for so long my eyes have an issue with eye with watering just in general and then because we were there my allergies were like super flaring up so like now this eye is like super raw and like my skin is just really really dry today so I'm gonna try and let my skin breathe for a little bit and just like I'm gonna be wearing a mask most of the day anyway so I might as well not put makeup on but anyway I wanted to bring you guys along for the day I'm trying to document this journey as much as I possibly can as we go into it and this big move and all of that kind of stuff so I'm bringing you guys along I'm also gonna be sharing what I eat in a day on my Optavia 5 in 1 plan if you guys didn't hear I'm just kind of doing that on all of my videos now so anytime you get a vlog it's just gonna also be what I eat in a day so that we can keep on track of that I was also gonna have my second fueling now I brought along with me the chocolate mint cookie crisp bar um, I don't know if you guys saw my unboxing video but these have now become another favorite I used to really not like these at the beginning of plan and they were really overplayed and I'm telling you now they taste like Thin Mints. Like who doesn't like a good Thin Mint? I'm not even really a chocolate mint kind of person, but like Thin Mints are delicious. And that's pretty much what this tastes like. I have heard that these are good in the freezer. Obviously that didn't work today, but just really easy for on the go. Obviously we needed another bar or something to just get us through as we're running errands and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this now and I will check back in with you guys as we go throughout our day. Step 
crept into my life Such a magic feeling We tore down my walls I wish I could go back To right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same back home and I'm about to have fueling number three. I'm just having the home style chicken noodle soup. Honestly, this fueling is actually pretty good once you give it a second try. I know a lot of people don't really like the soups, but I have come to really like them. They've reformulated them. They've gotten really, really yummy and they're really good for like just wanting something cozy and wanting something warm that you can just have that's savory. So anyway, I'm going to have my soup now and I actually just realized I haven't really given you guys an update on our house recently. So as we're moving and as we're prepping for this big adventure that we're taking, we're going through a lot of processes of like donating and selling a lot of our like furniture and stuff. And our house is getting pretty empty. Um, it's pretty crazy. Let me show you guys where we're at. This is literally like the main floor of like where our kitchen is and it is so, bare like this whole thing used to have like the whole thing filled we had our dining room table right here and we took it apart because i think somebody's coming to pick it up today they want to buy it for their living room we're actually going to give them all of our like tablecloth and placemats and all that fun stuff i think my mom wants this lamp um yeah this is like super super bare that chair i think we're probably just gonna donate we've still got my piano somebody's coming to pick that up today because we're selling it there used to be a tv on top of this mantle and now there's like nothing like literally i've still got just like a few christmas decorations left and then a picture of zach and i but that's about it and yeah oh also for all my theater nerds out there yes i do have a signed wicked poster and it is fabulous but yeah this is like a barren dvd rack like who has dvds anymore like this just looks crazy you guys like there is nothing in here and it's just like barren like we've got our laundry room like what the heck is this i don't know it's getting real guys it's getting so, so real. Just a little bit of an update. It's getting real and I am excited and scared and nervous and all these different things all at the same time. So anyway, that's our kind of living room. And um, yeah, it's just gonna get more and more empty and I'm kind of into it. So I'll keep you guys posted as it just continues to go. Okay guys, so I'm filming this a little bit out of order. I'm actually filming this early than when you guys are actually seeing me do the vlog that you're watching right now. I don't know. Um, basically, I just received a big shipment from Amazon and I wanna share with you guys a little bit of an unboxing slash Amazon haul just because with us going into this big move and gonna be traveling the country for probably a year and you know selling everything we own and doing all the different things and all of that, I needed some stuff. Like we're getting rid of a lot of stuff, but I needed some travel stuff and things that kind of just like streamlined my systems a little bit because everything that I am taking with me on this big grandiose adventure needs to fit in the car. <laughs> So that's kind of what's going on is I needed to kind of like get some travel essentials and get some things that were just a little bit better for what I needed to accomplish no matter what place we live, no matter where we end up, all of those kinds of things. And as I've been doing that, I've been getting a lot of fun stuff off of Amazon and I figured I would just put a portion of this into the vlog so that we could kind of have a fun little Amazon haul, Amazon unboxing, all of that fun stuff. And you guys can see kind of what I'm getting. A lot of this stuff is going to be Amazon travel essentials, things like that, that I'm using to kind of compact all of the things that I need to get into the car and all of that kind of stuff stuff and I need to start using some of this stuff and I just got it all in today so I wanted to share with you guys what I got and you guys can kind of be a part of the process with me as I start figuring out how we're gonna make sure this track happens properly so here's what I got so I did already open the box just to make sure I got everything but I have not really gotten to like dive into it just yet so 
a lot of this I have just kind of in this one box here. Okay, so number one, I believe this is the skincare bag I ordered. Let me take it out of this plastic. Okay, yes, this is the skincare bag. So one of the things that I was a little worried about with us traveling was like, what the heck am I gonna do with all of like my shampoo and face wash and moisturizer and all that kind of stuff. And obviously like, you know, when you travel, normally you have like travel size shampoos and travel this and that, but like, we're not just traveling, we're like leaving indefinitely and I kind of need my full size stuff. <laughs> So I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with all of that stuff? And like, where am I gonna put it? Is it gonna go in my suitcase and all that stuff? So anyway, this is what I think is basically like a skincare slash cosmetics bag is at least kind of what it was on Amazon. I will link all of this stuff down below if you guys wanna try any of this or if this works for you. But basically it's a clear bag that zips at the top and it's like oval or not oval. It's just a little deeper so that you can fit products in here. There's a little compartment up here if I want to put like cotton swabs or like, you know, Q-tips or anything like that. I can put that up here and then the products actually go in here. Let me see if I can grab a product just to like show how it fits. Give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. So I just grabbed a couple of the products that I normally use. So I think you guys have seen this in a vlog before, but this is the new cleansing balm that I've been using for my face. This is what I use to get my makeup off and then it also washes my face. So this would go right in here and it's got a flat bottom so that everything kind of can stand up if you want it to. So this would go right in here. This is my self tanner. By the way, if you guys are looking for a good new self tanner, I have been recently trying this Bondi Sands self tanning foam dark. You guys, this stuff is like awesome. And I've tried a lot of different self tanners, but like I have been really, really liking this. And I actually heard about it on another YouTuber's channel. I can't remember, but I tried it out and I've like been loving it. And so I use it like once a week, especially in Colorado when I'm like white. <laughs> so I've been really, really liking this, but this is the Bondi Sands um, self tanning foam and it would just go right in here. Um, yeah, so basically that's how it works. It's got like a flat bottom and you can store all of your like full size products in there. So. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I don't know, like I said, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants as to how to get the right things for this big trek that we're gonna go on, but I'm excited. So anyway, that's gonna be my skincare case. Also kind of on skincare slash cosmetics, I wanted to get a new makeup bag. So every now and then we just have to do new makeup bags anyway because ours just get destroyed by makeup. <laughs> And it was kind of time for a new one anyway, and I needed something that was gonna fit really well in my suitcase and carried everything instead of having it all in multiple places, and I kind of have a lot of makeup, so I need to consolidate, and so I got a new bag, and actually this bag was trending on, I think, YouTube and Instagram for a while there, um, and I had yet to actually try it out, so I was actually really excited to try this, but basically, let me get the plastic off. Okay, so it's just this black bag, and I really like the gold detailing, that's really cute. It says Relabel, Relabel? I don't know if that's how you say that. Anyway, it's off Amazon, and it opens up like a flip top like this. So it goes like this, and then inside, this is the coolest part, you guys, watch this. So inside, where you put your makeup, it has all of these different compartments. Also up here, I mean, I didn't show you this, but up here is where you can put all of your brushes and things like that. All of that stays safe and clean up here, and then this is where you put your actual makeup, and I have yet to try this, but this is how it's supposed to work. These little compartments can come out. So these can come out and I can move them to wherever I need to fit the specific products that I'm looking for. So I can move it to here, I can move it to here, I can literally move this little panel to wherever I need it to fit the product that I'm looking for and I can move this around however I want. So I'm actually really excited about that. That means basically all of my stuff will fit however I need it to fit in here. So anyway, this was trending for a long time and I was actually really excited to try it out. So this is gonna be my new travel makeup bag. I'm really excited about it and it should help me consolidate a lot of my stuff and get it all to store properly because I need to have all of my stuff in one spot and having some brushes in there is gonna be really good. So anyway, this is going to be my new makeup bag that's going to hold all of the goodies. Okay, there's not really a rhyme or a reason to this haul, so all of this is kind of all over the place, but here's the next thing we got, a keyboard. <laughs> so another big thing that I really needed to make sure that I had streamlined was the way that I work and the way that I film. So obviously I work from home, I do a lot of work specifically on Zoom, I do a lot of social media, I do a lot of just 
everything is just bas basically virtual and online and that's our business. I mean, we are health coaches, we do what we can from wherever we are and I just needed to kind of streamline my process on that and I heard about this and was really, really excited to try it out. It's basically a keyboard that is Bluetooth and connects to obviously any of your devices, including your phone. So let me see if I can pull it out for you guys and show you. I also got it in rose gold because why not? Okay, so rose gold keyboard. Love it. So anyway, this is a Bluetooth keyboard that literally connects to anything, including your phone and has like even a little thing back here to put your phone on. You can literally set your phone up right here and see it right in front of the keyboard. And what's really, really good about this is I don't, I'm really, really behind on like DMs and YouTube comments and text messages and all these kinds of things and all of it's on my phone. And literally if I'm sitting there doing this like all day, I'm like, I just can't do this anymore. So I'm thinking this will make things a lot easier. I'll be able to respond to everybody. I'll be able to respond to comments. I'll be able to be just be a lot more streamlined especially wherever I am. I don't have to worry about it. We're gonna be all over the place and I'll just always have everything that I need. So this is gonna be a Bluetooth keyboard that connects to my phone, connects to my iPad, anything that I'm working on that's going to basically be a way to have a keyboard and I don't have to sit there and do this the whole time. So this was actually really, really cheap. I was like kind of surprised by it and super cute. Why not? Rose gold, love it. And it also has a place for me to put my phone. So. That is gonna be perfect, and it's really gonna streamline my systems as far as working from home and working virtually. This may not be that exciting to anybody here, but uh, this is a hub. <laughs> this is a hub for actually my SD card for my camera. Um, honestly, realistically, should've gotten this a long time ago. I've been using literally one, I think it's this one. I've been using one USB to USB-C cord to like do everything, and it's really a pain in the butt trying to like get everything onto my computer at once and off of my computer at once. And so this is actually gonna come in handy. I don't, I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I will open it up and share it with you. There we go, perfect. So this is literally just a cord that connects. I can put my SD card right in here. My SD card is where all of my content on my camera goes. I can just take it out of my camera, put it right into this little hub here. And then this USB-C just goes directly into my computer. And I've been really needing one of these for a really long time. So just honestly, this whole move is forcing Zach and I to just like do all of the things that we've been putting off for forever. We're like, yeah, we should probably get one of those cords while we have a shipping address. And while, you know, all of this can just get sent to us from Amazon. So got an SD card to USB-C and this is actually gonna make my life way easier. And I can just take it on the go and I can always, always be able to get content from my camera to my computer. Okay, I am a little hesitant to share this because it is kind of a surprise. Um, I... I don't know if I wanna tell you exactly what it's gonna be used for yet, but I will share with you what it is. I won't tell you what it's gonna be used for yet because I wanna surprise you guys, but this is a felt letter board and it's going to be amazing for what I have it used for, but I was really excited to find this on Amazon. It's called Felt Like Sharing and it's literally a felt letter board that comes with all the letters and I can just stick them right into the felt there. It's super small and easy to travel with, all of that fun stuff, and I can just stick the letters right in there, whatever I wanna say. I'm gonna leave it at that because I still want you guys to be surprised, but I did get a really cute letter board off of Amazon. I feel like I'm literally the leaning tower of Pisa with all of this stuff that I'm balancing right now. So if you guys hear a big crash, that's what it was. <laughs> okay, tripods. So the other thing that I really had to make sure that I had streamlined if we're gonna go travel and not have a home base all the time, I needed to streamline my filming setup. And currently a lot of my tripods and ring lights and light ups and soft boxes and lighting and all of that kind of stuff is like just all over the place. And if we're gonna go somewhere and let's say the kitchen doesn't have any natural light or let's say wherever I'm filming doesn't have any light or I don't have a thing to set my camera on or whatever, I just needed to streamline my tripods and my lighting. So number one, I got a new phone tripod and what I've currently, let me see, what I've currently been using for my phone is this guy and don't get me wrong, it has lasted me a good amount of time and it's not bad at all. However, it just, every time I've been trying to put my phone vertically, it just doesn't handle that. It will only do my phone horizontally and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Plus these legs were just not doing it for me. They weren't sturdy enough and my phone was falling all the time and it was a kind of a pain in the butt. So. 
Needed to streamline, got a new tripod. This is going to be a tripod specifically for my phone if I'm gonna be doing any phone content. Plus, I'm gonna be getting into doing Instagram Reels, I'm gonna be doing more IGTVs and Facebook and Instagram Lives and all that fun stuff. And that's all just gonna be on my phone and so I need to make sure I have a very good phone tripod specifically that is just always there and specifically designated to the phone. Also, if any of you guys are content creators or YouTubers or anything like that, honestly, it's nice to just have one thing for the phone, one thing for the camera, one one lighting for the filming, all that kind of stuff. Like you can get a tripod that will hold everything. Like it's multifunctional. It'll do your camera, it'll do your phone, it'll do all of the different things, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Like having to like completely rearrange the tripod and make sure you have all the right pieces so it fits the phone. And then when you're gonna film, you gotta completely redo it again and make sure it fits the camera. and. Honestly, it's just easier to have multiple and have the things that are designated to each thing. So phone tripod, so only be for the phone, never have to worry about it and it's just good to go. So this is gonna be super, super handy. Then I don't wanna fully open this, but this is a whole brand new tripod just specifically for my camera. So I have a tripod that's actively holding my ring light right now. And again, it's just so much easier to have each thing for each thing, trying to fit the camera with the right piece that fits with the ring light and all of those kinds of things. It's just a pain in the butt. So that tripod that's holding my ring light will eternally hold my ring light and I don't have to worry about it. And then this tripod will specifically be for my camera if I need something really raised up. The tripod that I'm using right now for my camera here is really really small and it's something that I just carry around with me it's like probably a foot tall but this tripod I believe goes up to like five feet or something like that if I really need it to if I'm standing up anything like that or there's nothing for me to put my camera on this is gonna come in handy I'm not gonna open this up right now but I will put a camera on the screen so you guys can kind of see what I'm actually gonna use with this and like I said I am gonna link all of these products down below should you need a tripod randomly you uh I got you covered clearly so tripod for my actual camera. Oh, I'm so excited about this next thing. Okay, so watch. A new laptop bag. Oh my gosh, I am super, super excited for this. So like I said, I really, really need to streamline all of my work from home, virtual working setup, and my filming setup and all of that. And I really needed a new bag that was gonna hold it all because my current laptop bag it's kind of dying over there in my corner. It's like it never held its shape. I was constantly trying to fit more things in it and it just wasn't right. I snagged a new one right off of Amazon, super affordable and actually matches the color of my purse. I think it's gonna look really cute. Let me see if I can open it up and show you guys. Cute, I love this so much. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so perfect. Okay, so this is a laptop bag that, it's not just a laptop bag, it's gonna store like kind of all of my electronics. I mean, not my camera, but like almost everything else. So this is gonna hold my laptop, this is gonna hold my iPad, this is gonna hold my Bluetooth keyboard that you guys already saw, this is gonna hold everything, and like journals, pens, anything that I need for like, if I'm on the go, this is gonna hold it, so. Literally, it's got like handles like a purse, so it kind of looks like a purse. This is the front, isn't it cute? And then literally inside, it's also got a strap, so if I wanna just have it over like crossbody strap, I can do the strap as well, but inside it's got all of the compartments so that I can store everything I need. So it's got a place for my computer, it's got a place for me to store things in the zipper, it's got literally everything I need for like storing pens, all of that kind of stuff really, really deep, and the thing that I liked the most about it is because it actually is going to hold its shape. If I put a lot of stuff in here, I don't want to have to worry about it like falling over, like my laptop's in there, you know what I mean? Like, I need something sturdy, and I love the fact that this matches my purse, so if I'm carrying around my purse and my laptop bag, we're all gonna be coordinated, and I love it, so. Anyway, I will have to take a picture in this so you guys can see like the whole scope of it and like how big it is on my body and all that kind of stuff. But if you guys are looking for a new laptop bag or looking for something cute, like you guys don't need to have an ugly laptop bag that like looks like a tech bag. It can look like a purse. Like you can get really cute stuff off of Amazon and it's super affordable and it matches my style, I'm just saying. So anyway, that's what the front of it looks like. I'm excited for that. And last thing, I can't really show it to you because it's in a huge box, but I'll show you the box. Here's the box. Um, I'm not gonna open this whole thing right now. Whenever I do open it, maybe I'll show that in another vlog, but I do need to open it before we leave. So this is like the biggest thing that I needed to make sure I had before we go. So 
This box is holding two brand new softbox lighting fixtures. So if you guys are in the content creator world or you guys are in the YouTube world or anything like that, you'll know that lighting is key. Lighting is super, super important. If you can do natural light, that's great. I, you guys have seen natural light in a lot of my videos because my kitchen opens off into right natural light with that window there. But natural light is great. And then if you don't have natural light, meaning if you're trying to film at night, which like, I'm filming this at night, it's actually like nine o'clock. Um, but if you don't have natural light, getting good lighting is very, very important. And I really, really wanted to make sure that my lighting was on point no matter. So wherever we go, wherever we end up, if there is ever any darkness in the, in the house that we end up in, I have lights, I'm gonna be okay. I've got everything I need so that lighting is never a question. So. This box is actually two new matching softbox light fixtures with a travel case so that I can fit it in the car and I can tear them down and it's really easy. But I just wanted to make sure I had all of the light that I need and I did a lot of research on which softbox lights I wanted to get. Trust me, that was a journey of trying to figure out I was getting the right stuff. So anyway, if you guys are in that world and you need some recommendations, I would highly recommend everything that I researched because this is what's going to take me on this trip. But yes, two new softbox lights, and as soon as I get those set up, I'll do some sort of a portion in the vlog so you guys can see them set up and good to go. But I'm really excited for softbox lighting. That is absolutely the most professional way to go as far as I've heard. And ring lights are great too. I mean, I'm using a ring light. There's a ring light behind you guys right now that's lighting up my face right now, but I'm sure you guys have also seen in some of my videos, the glare of the ring ends up in my glasses whenever I'm using my blue light glasses and I'm editing or anything like that. So I try to not have it show up in there, but it is what it is. And if I have softbox lighting coming in from the sides, I shouldn't have nearly as much of a glare. So that will take care of that problem. But I got a lot of fun goodies here, you guys. I'm actually really excited to use all of these on our trip. And honestly, this is a pretty big Amazon haul and who doesn't love Amazon? So figured I'd share with you guys some of my travel essentials, some of my content creator essentials, some of my stuff that I'm getting to really streamline everything that I do because I need to be able to do it on the go all the time now because I'm not gonna have a home all the time. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep you in the loop as to how all of these things go, how I like them, all of that fun stuff. And like I said, I will link it all down below if you guys wanna try out any of these things with me. But yeah, anyway, wanted to bring you in on a little Amazon haul slash unboxing and let's get back to the vlog. Do what you do. You know that all I think about is you. Say the things you say. I don't know how you make me feel this way. I got you inside my head. today and if you guys have not seen the full video I did on this yes there are some healthy choice meals that are available as a lean and green option on program so specifically the healthy choice meal that is the grilled chicken with broccoli alfredo that's exactly what this is and all you need to add to it to make it a full lean and green is one extra serving of veggies so you guys saw I chopped up a half a cup of yellow bell pepper to count as my third serving of veggies and then you do also need to add one serving of healthy fat which I already have had in my coffee this morning at Dutch Bros. So I am covered. This is gonna be my full lean and green. I had my healthy fat this morning. This is gonna be delicious. I actually really, really like this as just an on the go option. If you guys are looking for something easy and you guys have a lot of stuff going on and just need something that's in your freezer ready to go, this is really, really good. So this is gonna be my lean and green meal for today and I will check back in with you guys for fueling number four. Okay guys, so this vlog did not super go as planned, but I mean, our life right now is not very planned. There's lots of things going on and lots of moving parts. And basically as we're in the midst of moving and wow, my face is so overexposed right now, I'm sorry. But as we're in the midst of moving and all of these different things, a lot of other things that we're doing is like saying goodbyes to a lot of friends and 
people that we knew here and all of that kind of stuff. So we ended up leaving to go meet up with a friend for his birthday and I could have sworn I had a bar in my purse and I didn't. So guess what that means? I have to double up now. So if you ever miss a fueling, obviously it's not the end of the world. You want to be on time with your fuelings and you want to do that to the best of your ability, but I didn't have a bar in my purse and I totally thought I did. So I'm super, super tired, but I think I'm just going to double up on a bar and a shake so that I can just get it knocked out. I'm probably gonna do a creamy chocolate shake and then I've got my favorite silky peanut butter chocolate chip bar. The silky peanut butter bar is absolutely my favorite bar that they make and I could have it at any time of day. It's that good. So anyway, I'm really tired, but I'm really glad I still got to vlog with you guys today. There's been a lot of things going on and a lot of unexpected meetings and timing and all of that kind of stuff, but that's kind of just how our life is right now and uh, I feel like my bun just totally shows how crazy everything is right now. So anyway, I've been living that bond life and I'm trying to share with you guys the journey as much as I possibly can. So thank you so, so much for joining me on this vlog today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. If you guys like these videos and want me to take you along for more of the adventure of us going on this big move, please let me know down in the comments down below as well. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel channel and supporting my Schley's Health Journey series. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!